Steve Jocks here with XPWebDesigners.com. Today I wanted to go through my Google Webmaster Tools account and uh, just show you guys briefly how we're going to increase our performance uh, and get a sitemap up and running inside our Google Webmaster Tools account. Uh, to begin, we're on our, our dashboard, okay, and this just briefly shows some keyword queries that are uh, ranking high inside of Google. It also shows the significance of the keywords and some crawl errors. It also shows the sitemap XML file uh, and the status that I do have 40 web pages that are indexed by Google. And it shows some uh, links that I have 37 links pointing at my site. Uh, to begin, I'm going to go to labs and I'm going to check out site performance really quick. So for the site performance, I have a 1.1 second load time, which is pretty good. It uh, it's better than 89% of the sites out there on the web. And what what Google does is it estimates with uh, data points. So between 100 and 1,000 data points, they create this chart down here. And as you can see, back in May and June, I had some spikes where my web pages were loading slow. And what I what I had to do ultimately is I had to switch hosting accounts so I got a new host here and since then um, my site has been running pretty fast so I got a good host um, if you're having that same trouble that I did go to hostgator.com they're a great hosting company they'll make your site run fast um, you also have to double check the the code in your site and what kind of style sheets you have and files uh, that you have to kind of weed through and minimize the the coding behind the website so to speak um, another point I want to check out is the URL so these are the URLs that are having you know maybe not a difficult time but I see one web page right here that it's loading in about 3.1 seconds it looks like so maybe I want to minimize the content or go and kind of see what what's happening with this web page I I think I have two videos on that web page so that might be slow slowing that web page down and it also gives you um, some tips on what you can do uh, some problems that are happening and it gives you solutions or URLs to that uh, where, where they're having trouble so you can click on that and it brings up the feed or whatever is slowing down the web page um, another thing I want to just touch base on really briefly is sitemaps this has been probably the biggest pain since I've you know became a member or got an account at Google Webmaster Tools and the reason being is just starting out as a new webmaster I used HTML or try to upload an HTML sitemap and I'm probably not the only one who's done this but you know it's been quite difficult and stressful trying to get an XML sitemap I searched through probably 20 to 50 websites couldn't find anything that was gonna help me out until I came across this one site and I'm gonna pull this up for you guys really quick this is the XML uh, sitemap generator and what they do is for 30 bucks a month or 30 I think it's a $30 one time fee actually is they will actually go to your um, FTP access they'll upload the generator um, and then you can go ahead and you can submit it back to your Google uh, webmasters account for the XML sitemap so the website is xml-sitemaps.com I'm gonna post that on our blog at xpwebdesigners.com slash blog so you can check out the link there and um, basically what you do is if you want a free one they do a free one you can put a URL in here or your domain name and um, your domain dot com and then just hit enter and submit this information and uh, basically just hit the start button and you're ready to go and they'll automatically pr you know publish a site map for you um, but I really highly suggest that you get the uh, sitemap generator um, okay and it says right here 
get unlimited version for just $19.99. I believe they charge an extra 10 bucks uh, to do the upload to your FTP access. So the it's $29.99 to get the whole thing. Uh, very basic and simple. You send a couple emails back to the administrator who is setting up your XML generator. So it's very easy to get started with that in your Google Webmaster Tools account. And once they get that sitemap up and running, the sitemap.xml file, you want to hit uh, submit a sitemap and it should be ready to go. If you guys have any questions, go to xpwebdesigners.com. Uh, again, my name is Steve. Uh, until next time, have a great day.